1907 was a very important date. It was when the Slave Trade Act was passed. What was the Slave Trade Act, you might ask? The Slave Trade Act was an act of Parliament of the United Kingdom, with the long title, An Act for Abolition of the Slave Trade. The original act is in the Parliamentary Archives. The act abolished the slave trade in the British Empire, but not slavery itself. That remained legal until the slavery abolition in 1833. The British trade in slaves began in 1562, during the reign of Elizabeth I, when John Hawkins led the first slaving expedition. The Committee for the Abolition of Slave Trade, formed in 1787, which led the campaign that pushed the act through, was a group of evangelical English Protestants, allied with the Quakers and united in their opposition to slavery and the slave trade. The Quakers had long viewed slavery as immoral, a blight upon humanity. By 1807, the abolitionist groups had a very sizable faction of like-minded members in the parliament. At their height, they controlled 35 to 40 seats. The group that Wilberforce had joined also contained people like Thomas Clarkson, Granville Sharp, Hannah Moore, and Charles Middleton. These people were only a small amount of the people that pushed Wilberforce to bring the act up as high as Parliament. Encouraged by the publication of Clarkson's essay, an informal committee was set up by small groups of petitioning Quakers, Clarkson, and others with the aim of lobbying to members of Parliament. This was to lead, in May 1787, to the foundation of the Committee for the Abolition of the Slave Trade. The committee included Grainsville Sharp as chairman, Josiah Wedgwood, as well as Clarkson himself. Clarkson also approached the young William Wilberforce, who, as an evangelical Anglican and an MP, could offer them a link to the British Parliament. Wilberforce was one of the only few parliamentarians to have had sympathy for the Quaker petition. He had already put out a question about the slave trade before the House of Commons, marking himself out as one of the earliest Anglican abolitionists. Clarkson took a leading part in the affairs of the Committee for the Abolition of the Slave Trade and was given the responsibility to collect the evidence to support their causes. He faced much opposition from the supporters of the slave trade in some of the cities that he visited. The slave traders were an influential group because the trade was a legitimate and lucrative business, generating prosperity for many of the ports. On a visit to Liverpool in 1787, the year that the committee was founded, Clarkson was attacked and nearby killed by a gang of sailors paid to assassinate him. He just escaped with his life. 